Good afternoon, sports fans. Welcome to MLB The Show 18. Miami Marlins franchise. Three games set on the way. The 8-4 Marlins hosting the 6-6 six six Pittsburgh Pirates. Joe Musgrove, the Pirates 0-0, 1.50 ERA going against Harlan the Marlin. Harlan Garcia, 1-1, 2.45 ERA. The first inning. The first out made by Josh Harrison as he bounces weakly to Miguel Rojas at second base. Justin Bohr, the pick, the clean pick. With one out, Adam Frazier, however, on the fourth pitch of the game, going to line a bloop triple right, oh man, right past. Looks like Lewis Brinson out there. It could be Derek Dietrich, probably Lewis Brinson though. I have no idea from this far away. Either way, triple. Going to put him on third base in Starling Marte. 3-1 pitch to an RBI ground to Miguel Rojas and the Pirates take a quick 1-0 lead here in the first inning. Pirates coming out hot, I guess. Uh, Cameron Mabin on the first base runner for the Marlins via the walk. And how about Lewis Brinson now? How about Lewis Brinson? The multidimensional Lewis Brinson. I've had a million times. Two outs, RBI suh. Yeah, it's an RBI double, my friends. RBI double. Making a one to one in the first inning, retying that game. But now we go to the third. Two on, two out. Adam Frazier striking out. Change up to end the threat. Olin Garcia getting out of that one with no damage. But now Justin Bohr, his last at bat, guarding into double play. Now the 0 2 pitch out of here. 0-2 pitch, two-run home run, 3-1 Marlins, Justin Bohr, really making up for that after, yeah, after the double play he got into it his first time, Joe Musgrove, surrendering the home run as Justin Bohr rounds the bases, giving the Marlins a 3-1 lead, trying to extend the Marlins to uh, their fourth win of the year. Well, I guess trying to push them to the fourth win of the year. However, in the top of the fourth inning, Josh Bell clubbing one out like it's Augusta. Makes it 3-2, and the Pirates pull within one. Josh Bell, all I want to say is Drake and Josh every single time. It's like Drake and Josh took place in Compton or something. I don't know. I just mean Camden, New Jersey, perhaps. I, don't, I have no idea. But the fifth inning now, second and third. Two outs, full count, Harlan Garcia, strike! Three, Corey Dickerson going down. Next up, David Fries. Three pitches later, he sits down. Marlins hang on to the lead. Inning over after the fifth, and Harlan Garcia working out of trouble again. Later in the inning, man on second, Miguel Rojas. A dribbler down the line, that is gonna be an RBI double. And that is going to be a four to two Marlins lead as they try to extend. Look at that, that's the same animation they always do. I don't know, either way, seventh inning, six two Marlins now. JT Real Muto, first home run of the season. Watches that one, eight steps down the line to first base. The Marlins now blowing it wide open. Eight to two here in the seventh inning. As JT Real Muto finally touching them all for the first time in this 2018 campaign. Real Muto has been struggling lately, but he's trying to get it going and hoping that home run will be able to do it as the Pirates' bullpen continues to implode. Not implode, just give a lot of runs. Josh Harrison, though, two outs in the ninth inning. Extending that hit streak to nine games with an infield. Waiting to the last possible moment to do so. But he does it. But, Guerrera, Javi Guerrera going to end the game with a ground out and the Pirates win. Sorry, the Marlins beat the Pirates. 11-4, they move to 9-4 and, and the Pirates, well, they fall to 6-7. It, it was 4-2 to two after the fifth inning and the Marlins put up seven runs. Seven runs in the final four frames. So really doing a number on that Pirates bullpen. And they're really trying to extend their streak 
to winning uh, four series in a row because they won the second series, they won the third series, they won the fourth series. It is now the fifth series of the year, so they're trying to win. Sorry, they're trying to win the fourth series in a row because after they lost against the Chicago Cubs, fifteen hits they clubbed and did not. But look at that, just six, six, just, just, just runs, lots of runs. Pittsburgh trying to come back, but. Uh, not happening. But here we go. Game two. Chet Cole. 1 0, 4 point, or 5.40 ERA going against Jose Urena. 1 0, 2.63 ERA. Jose Urena. 17 Ks to one walk. A whip just over one. Really having a great year. But the first inning now. Jose Urena. 1 0 pitch to Josh Harrison. He's going to ground out right to Urena for the Pirates' first out of the game. Just like game number one of the series, Adam Frazier, the next batter, is going to be the first hit for the Pirates. Not a triple this time, just a single, bouncing a curveball up the middle. And right past the uh, Castro. Uh, who's that shortstop now? Yeah, I don't even know. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Corey Dickerson, an RBI double now. Booming, two outs, full count. And the Pirates, again, like yesterday, taking a 1-0 lead in the first inning. So, turned the whole, oh, but then the rest of the game kind of fell apart with the Pirates. They're going to try not to replicate that. But Cameron Maben now, 1-2 pitch, striking out, looking for the first out. So, not like yesterday, he does not draw a walk to get on base. So, perhaps it will not be 11-4 in favor of the Marlins in the third inning. Start Run around third, two out, throwing Marte. Then I bloop a double, RBI two out double, to make the game two to nothing Pirates. However, Derek Diedrich in the bottom of the frame, a two two pitch from Chad Cole. That was on the inner half, might even been on the inner edge of the plate, taking that one over the wall in right field. His third home run of the year, and it is now two to one Pirates as the Marlins try and make their comeback. They try to come from behind again for the second day in a row. Derek Diedrich. Really trying to help the Marlins out there. I don't know, trying to fill time with some nonsense words. Cameron may have been an RBI ground out with a run on third. And the game is now tied at three. Sorry, the game is now tied at two to two. I don't know what, I'm looking at my notes way ahead of time. This is no good. Obviously, someone's with a third run. Who's it going to be in the fourth inning? Is it or is it uh, Gregory Polanco? It's not. He strikes out in the inning. Urena. And ends the fourth inning. It is now two out. Derek Diedrich hit a pass the diving shortstop. Two outs. They send the runner, and it was the right decision because he scores. The Marlins now take a 3-0 lead. They have scored three unanswered runs. The sixth inning, Corey Dickerson saying it. Nah, I don't think so. Ah, we're going to take that lead back. Thank you very much. We're Pirates. We pillage. We're pillaging this game. The Pirates now lead 4-3. They reclaim the lead on a Corey Dickerson home run. Look at that. Just, just muscling that ball. Oppo. Over the left, into the, over the left field wall. The eighth inning, two on, two out, five three Pirates. JT Real Muto, a bouncer, right to the pitcher. Threat crisis averted. Threat ended. And the Marlins trail five to three into now. Will be the eighth inning as we come up as the Pirates lead four to three. It'll be pinch hitter Sean Rodriguez. And Nick Whitgren, that ball is gone. Again, over the left field wall. No chance for the left fielder, and the Pirates now lead 6-3. to three. Wow. And Nick Whitgren, not happy about that. He gave up a few runs this game. Not the best outing for Whitgren. Martin Prado striking out in the game, and the Pirates take game two of the series 7-3. to three. Guys. For individual game notes and box scores and total season stats, check out the website below that has all of them. It's a WordPress where I update every single game that happens and, you know, the box score for both teams. And I have a, uh, a season stats along with standings and whatnot. So you can check that out if you feel so inclined. But with the Pirates winning, it will now be the rubber game of the series coming up. Game three, 
And now the Marlins, sitting at 9-5, go after the 7-7 seven seven Pirates. The Pirates looking to go back over 500. After they fell from 500 from 6-6, six 6-7, and six, six and seven, the Pirates clubbing 7 runs on 12 hits. Not, a bet, not the best day if you're a Miami Marlins pitcher. But new day brings new harvest. Jackie Robinson Day! Everyone's wearing 42. If you thought I was confusing me before with positions and numbers, how do you fuck do you think I felt now? Everyone's wearing the same goddamn number. 9-5 Marlins, 7-7 seven, seven Pirates. Ivan Nova, 1-1, one 3.09. One, going up against Sandy Alcantara. 2-0, 1.38 ERA. Number five starter on the staff. Number one starter in your hearts and on the stat sheets. He's got most wins as a starter and lowest ERA and all that great stuff. First inning, Josh Harrison. Went around out there weekly. Going to be first out as he did the previous two days. In the first inning, later on, Starling Marte. Now, it's been customary for Alcantara to take no hitters and do like the fifth inning for both of two of his starts, but this time, that's nah, not happening. Gonna hit a single to right field, and Marte is gonna get aboard for the first hit for the Pirates. However, he uh, will not score. He'll get stuck there, but Cameron Maben, second pitch of the day from Mr. Nova, former Yankee, gonna take that one to the right field, right where Marte put it just about for the first hit for the Marlins. But now, uh, he will also be left there. And into the second inning we go. Josh Bell out of here. The bell has rung. And it spells disaster. There's a combo between, you know, we got a sacrifice promo reference from Big Pump Pump Scott Steiner. Either way, Josh Bell. Solo home run. One to nothing Pirates. Megan, nowhere to be seen. Another Drake and Josh reference, albeit not a good one. It still happened nonetheless. We go Rojas here coming up in the third inning. Man on second base. Going to fly out to the deep, deep center field to end the inning. Pirates will go into the fourth inning, leading one to nothing. It'll now be the fifth inning. Adam Frazier's had himself a series, and he continues that with an RBI single with two outs. And that will score the run just barely. It is two to nothing, Pirates. Corey Dickerson now. 2 2 pitch in the sixth inning. Three to nothing. Just murdering baseballs off of Urena. Because all of them to some part of center field today. Just hitting them hard. Hitting them hard. But now let's uh, look at Dickerson. He's hit a home run in back to back games. Let's get a little uh, little side-by-side -side from home run between yesterday and today. Yesterday's home run on the left. Today's on the right, obviously. And just different parts of the ballpark that pitches and different parts of the plate. He just muscled each of them out there. And he, yeah, you know, home runs, man. He's, just, he's really, really helping out the Pirates there. But uh, in the seventh inning... Stalin Castro, solo blast, making it 3-1. I think I said yesterday was on the left. Yesterday was on the right. You guys know. The orange jersey was on. It was today. You know that. You know that. You don't need me to go back there and correct that. That's fine. The seventh inning. Yeah, it was Stalin Castro hitting himself a solo home run, and the Pirates. Lead is cut to 3-1. to one. Some life for Miami Marlins here. Trying not to lose the series. Average scoring 11 runs in the first game of the series. Really, really, really trying to prevent that. But the ninth inning. Castro again at the dish. Two outs, nobody on. Castro going to fly out weekly. That will end the game. The Pirates move to 8-7. and seven. Marlins fall to 9-6 and six as they lose 3-1 to one here today. And now the Yankees. The Marlins are going to the stadium. Yankee Stadium for a two-game series, a quick little two-game series for the Marlins, as they were not expected to do, to do a lot this year. They got out hot, starting hot. Well, they started poorly and then had a nice, their own three, and since then they were like nine and two in their game since, or they were nine and one since their own three start, and now, now they've lost three games in a row. So they lost, sorry, they lost two games in a row, trying not to lose three games in a row. But uh, perhaps not falling back down to earth. Who knows what happens when they take on the Yankees tomorrow. In the series, the Pirates club 15 runs, 33 hits. That's good for a 294 batting average. 
five home runs, a team ERA of 5.1, one, 5.19, mostly because of that 11 game, 11 run game. They had 22 total strikeouts as pitchers. That is just over seven a game. Their largest win was four runs and their seven to three victory. Now we're the Marlins. They also scored 15 runs. This, uh, they had 29 hits. That's good for a 284 average in the series. They hit six home runs, team ERA of five. We're going, they scored the same amount of runs. How is the ERA lower? Because they pitched one less inning. Because they didn't need a pitcher. Or they, yeah, because they, because they pitched one more inning. One less inning. Shit, I get that backwards. Might have got that backwards. Because the, the Marlins did not play a bottom of the ninth. They did not play a bottom of the ninth in the first game. So they pitched, so the, the Pirates ERA should be. No, that's right, because the Marlins pitched more innings. So the ERA is lower. Oh, okay, I got that right. They, they pitched more innings. The ERA is lower because they picked 27. The Pirates picked 26. And obviously, we need to do that math. It equates. You know what I'm saying? So they're uh, they had 19 strikeouts as pitchers. It equates to three, just over six for the three games. And the largest win was seven runs and then 11 to one. And the season versus uh, the Pirates. You know, the Marlins are one and two against the Pirates, and the Pirates are two and one against the Marlins. That has been. Series 5, we will see you guys next time with the Yankees two-game series. Good night, everybody.